Hi, today I'm gonna to take you on a road trip. We're actually going to go to the only primate sanctuary in Canada. And if we're lucky, I'll give you a glimpse of Darwin, the famous Ikea monkey. Max and I made the trip up to Sunderland, Ontario to Storybook Farms Primate Sanctuary. It's the only one in Canada. It's home to 19 monkeys, all from lab research. There were many exotic peck trade monkeys that have come here. They've all had awful pasts, and at least here, they get to live in peace and quiet and somewhat in nature. I know they're in cages, and I'll explain that a little bit later, but um, that's because of their unfortunate past. Here, at least, they're not going to be hurting anymore, and they can live their life happy. Hi, Rudy. Hi. I know you're normally so shy. Hi, bud. Looks like Darwin is in hiding. He normally comes out when I bring Max because he likes dogs. Funny enough, he doesn't like people. So my job today is to clean the outdoors. This is a huge space. It's a large acreage where they're now building um, more buildings because we've obviously got more primates that we need to house. And I have somebody who's overlooking my shoulder. I, oh, you want my hat? He wants my hat. He wants my hat. Hmm. It's going to be where the new building is going to be made. They're going to start construction in September, which is fantastic. It means hopefully we can get uh, more primates in from zoos and the exotic pet trade uh, where they should not be. Also, lab research monkeys. Do you ever wonder how they live? It's really not a great life and the size of their cage is low. So the three lab monkeys that came to Storybook Farms came in this contraption. This is a really small cage. Uh, obviously it's covered uh, right now, but this is where they're, they're, they live. Monkeys that are used for lab research are kept in cages this small, and they are constantly being pricked and probed and tortured and tested on for their entire life. The research facility no longer needs them. They euthanize them. Pockets, how are you? No drawing today? Hey Pockets. Hi. Oh, I know you're looking at your maps. <laughs> oh, hi Jenkins. Hi, do you want to shake my hand? Do you want to shake my hand, Jenkins? Hi. Hi. Oh, hello. I know you want my camera, but I can't give you my camera. I can give you my hand. Look at your hair. You look like Elvis. Pockets Warhol uh, paints, and his paintings are available online. He is one of the only one of ten primate monkeys that actually paints, and he uses watercolors. And his paintings are actually pretty popular. <laughs> hey, Pockets, you're a creative guy, aren't you? <gasps> yes, you are. And this is when I nicknamed him Elvis because of his hair. I want to introduce you again to Jenkins. He is one of the older primates here, and he's so friendly. He's the one that was shaking my hand earlier. He's looking out the window. He's an older primate. Hi, Jenkins. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hello. Look at your hands. <laughs> They're so human-like. They just want touch. Hey, Jenkins. I know. I know. I won't let go. No. No.
I love you too, Maxie. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, let's go back to the yard. So all the animals here get fed twice a day, once first thing in the morning and then once again uh, early evening, late afternoon. And as you can see, they eat really, really healthy. Uh, lots of lettuce, lots of fruit, lots of vegetables. And of course, they all have their favorite. Some like peanut butter, some like grapes, some like crackers, some don't like peanuts. And we also have lots of toys and kids' toys to keep them occupied. We like them to play. And you'll notice that there's some television screens around some of the cages as well. That's because we play Disney movies and National Geographic. These monkeys seem to like watching other animals play on the screen. You know, the first time I came here, I felt really sad to see all these primates in cages and then I found out what their background was and why they're actually kept in cages. Now keep in mind these cages are quite large and they have open space and they have lots of toys and there's grass and they can get outside but what they were kept in prior to coming here was horrendous small dark cages many of them were sold in the exotic pet trade and you have to remember when the exotic pet trade and how it works is so there's families of monkeys in the in their natural habitat to get a baby monkey the mom and dad and all the family members are extremely protective so what normally happens is to get one baby monkey to sell on the exotic pet trade they have to kill the entire family and that could be 10 15 20 animals will die not able to make it out here very often it is quite far from the city but when I do I come and spend the afternoon with Max and it certainly is good for the soul you know health and wellness encompasses so much and for me being healthy and happy means giving back and I'm a huge animal advocate so if I can help animals then I'm pretty happy well I hope you enjoyed my little tour of storybook farms primate sanctuary here in Sunderland Ontario and you'll learn something maybe it'll inspire you to volunteer or donate Until next time, Storybook Farms Primate Sanctuary.